big round of applause uh, for your next comic up, Mr. Zach Brooks. What's up? Hey. Uh, on the way over here, I stopped at a gas station and I heard a guy drop the most amazing Lord of the Rings reference I'd ever heard in my entire life. He was bagging up my items and his friend came in and asked if he could get a free drink without skipping a beat. This dude pointed at the security camera and said, come on man, the eye of Sauron is watching. Uh, you know, a lot of people are uh, under the impression that uh, Jesus is going to be upset when he comes back for the second coming. He's going to be upset for the way we've been living our lives. I personally think he's going to be way more excited about the wide selection of flip-flops and sandals we have nowadays. <laughs> he's going to come back. He's going to be like, guys, what's up with all this premarital sex and drugs? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are Crocs? <laughs> Try some on. <laughs> Guys, I recently read an article about a food truck uh, that had been serving cat meat and saying it was chicken. Yeah, and they interviewed a bunch of people that went to the food truck a lot and it was just horrible. I read the article two or three times though. Nowhere in the article did it say if it was delicious or not. <laughs> like, really? You interviewed 10 people who ate cat meat and not once you were like, well, what's up with cat meat? Because oh, nobody here wants to eat a cat, right? But if you're honest with yourself, you don't know what cat tastes like. It might be phenomenal. Like, we all like to think our reaction to that would be, ooh, this is cat meat. But it might be more like, ooh, this is cat meat. I love cat meat. I've been having this delicious cat walk around my house for years. I've been eating Lay's potato chips. What am I doing with my life? I'm gonna start breeding them in the closet, having get-togethers. Everybody here's invited to Catter Days in my house. It's a BYOC. Don't tell anybody, all right? Very illegal. Um, when I was a kid, I used to love reading Dr. Seuss books. Uh, but I picked one up like a week ago, and now that I'm older, it's a little too ridiculous. It's a little too out there for me. Like in Green Eggs and Ham, the first time he offers it to him, he's like, hey, you want these green eggs and ham in a house with a mouse? What about in a boat with a goat? The third time, third time, he's like, what about in a box with a fox? Does anybody else see the pattern here? The spaces are getting more confined. And the animals are getting more vicious. A fox will mess you up. And now I'm in a box with one. And I got the scent of ham on me. What's next, in a tin can with the Wu-Tang Clan? Dangerous. I do like rap music. I'm a fan of rap. Uh, but rappers, a lot of times, rappers talk about things Rappers make things seem really easy that aren't that easy for me to do. Like Biggie's got that song that's like, fuck bitches, get money. I can't just do that. I feel like I'm missing some steps in that process. Like if I remix that song to fit my lifestyle, it would be masturbation, self-loathing. Way less gangster when I do it. <laughs> and some rappers, some rappers are like, man, fuck the police. And I'm like, I can't even fuck these bitches. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was black. There's a, there's a lot of reasons. I want to get a weave. I want to join a step team. <laughs> I want to stomp the yard. There's a lot of reasons. Uh, the main reason, though, is as a comedian, sometimes I write jokes that I feel like would only work if a black comic told them, and it sucks because they're perfectly good jokes. I think I'm going to try one here tonight. Um, 
Guys, before I do this joke, I'm a little nervous. Um, could I just get everyone to close their eyes? Okay, now imagine that I'm black. You know what, if you're not black, go ahead and imagine you're black too. I think it'd be better for everyone. All right, eyes closed. Everyone black? Cool, let's do this. Y'all ever realize how white people be tolerating ghosts too damn much? See, now that is a phenomenal joke. Perfect setup, perfect punch. I can't tell it because I'm white. I gotta say, some people do get offended by that joke because uh, I do do a voice in it. I just, um, I just want to remind everyone that we're all black right now. <laughs> We all agree to it. There are no objections. Uh, my toilet's been broken, so I've been taking shits at the elementary school by my house. Um, there's a problem with that. The problem is the toilets are smaller, okay? They're designed for a child's ass. So when I take a normal adult-sized shit in the toilet, clog the toilet, and I was thinking, you know, that probably confused the janitors that had to deal with that whole situation. <laughs> they're in the lunchroom, they're like, which one of these little munchkins <laughs> took that bear shit in stall three? <laughs> hey, this guy, I did that. Um, guys, uh, I don't know what bank y'all use, but uh, Wells Fargo recently had sex with me. It was not consensual. Um, they took me to that covered wagon and... <laughs> I was, my account is very much so in the negative from overdraft fees. I was so upset uh, that I wrote a letter to Wells Fargo. Um, I'm just gonna read it for y'all. Um, right. Dear Wells Fargo, how does your asshole feel? <laughs> I guess mine is slowly recovering from the seven overdraft fees you managed to fit in there. <laughs> you gave me financial aids. <laughs> and not the kind the U.S. gives to rebuild Haiti. <laughs> you should have never let me spend money I didn't have. Now my child is starving and that's on you. I don't have a kid, but they don't know that at all. <laughs> you make me hate numbers. I've launched a Kickstarter to rob you. People seem down. I've also started a nationwide campaign that's sole purpose is to inform homeless people about how nice your bathrooms are. I hope you're ready for shit city. P.S. Based on name alone, I now hate the movie Fargo. Thanks, guys. I'm Zach Brooks. <laughs>